Hello guys! So today I'm here to talk about the 30 fun facts about China and I'm sure that number 8 will impress you. So China is one of the most populated and largest countries in the world. And the country is so diverse and it makes up a long list of interesting facts that could go on and on. So from the ancient old civilization to its breathtaking sights, unique culture and traditions, you will learn all about it here. And watch until the end to find out 30 fun facts about China that you probably didn't know. So first fact is that Mandarin is not the only language in China. So there are others such as Yue, Wu, Minbei, Minnan, Xianggan, and Hakka. And some regions in China, they have their own dialects. Also, as of September 2020, China is the most populated country in the whole world with a population of 1.4 billion people. Can you imagine? For me, it's such a mind-blowing fact because my country, Mongolia, has only 3 million of population. So it means that a small district in the capital of China, Beijing, has the population of my whole country. So thirdly, guys, China is considered a coconut culture. So Chinese people present a stony, formal exterior, but they're actually as warm and as welcoming as other cultures. And close friendships and relationships in China are earned over time compared to other Western cultures. Family members living in one home is a reflection of a Chinese success. So elders are highly revered in China. And younger generations are also expected to take care of their aging family members. Maybe you have heard about this different stories of scorpions and spiders that you can eat in China. Let me tell you what. Yes, you can actually find these fried spiders and scorpions in Beijing's Wang Fujing Street. And I have tried them myself. And let me tell you, they're really crispy. Fortune cookies did not originate in China. They were actually invented in San Francisco and they're not part of a traditional Chinese custom. Chinese New Year celebration lasts guess how many days? Guess how many days? One days? Three days? Five days? No! It lasts for 15 whole days. It is the biggest holiday in China, which is usually celebrated in January or February, depending from the calendar that year. And New Year in China is even more popular than Christmas. And here is an also an interesting fact about other countries, because other countries in Asia, they also celebrate Chinese New Year, or also called Lunar New Year. And for example, my country, Mongolia, we also celebrate Lunar New Year, and it's our most important celebration of the year. In the beginning of the video, I have told you guys that number 8 will impress you. So, what is it? So if you put all of China's railway lines, it can loop around the earth two times. Can you imagine? From this, you can see how well connected China is and the development of its transportation system. In China, every year is named after one of the 12 Chinese zodiac animals. So the first one, right? Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, and dog, and last one is a pig. So 2020 is a year of a rat. And uh, also, like for me, I was born uh, in a pig year. So that's how we use it. Like, which year you were born? I was born in pig year. Which year? Like, tiger year. So that's how we use in China and in some other Asian cultures. So number 10, guys. The Bailong Elevator in the Wuling Yuan area of Jiangjiajie in China can carry visitors up to 300 meters high on cliff's edge. This elevator is the world's heaviest and the highest outdoor elevators. China is a multi-religious country because of its large population. Many world religions have entered here, but the most main ones in China practiced are Taoism, Confucianism, and Buddhism. 
China, along with Italy, has the highest number of UNESCO sites in the world. And some of the most visited UNESCO sites in China include Forbidden City in Beijing, the well-known Great Wall of China, Summer Palace in Beijing, and the Temple of Heaven in Beijing, and world's famous Terracotta Army. So I should say that because I live in Beijing, I have seen Forbidden City, Great Wall, Summer Palace, Temple of Heaven. Each of them is really exciting. If you go to Beijing, you should visit all these UNESCO places. Speaking of this UNESCO sites in China, the Forbidden City in Beijing has 9,000 rooms all in all. It's one of the largest and oldest imperial palaces in the whole world. Despite of its huge size, China surprisingly only has one time zone and they follow official Beijing's time. So for me, when I first get to China, it was a big surprise how such a big country can follow only one time zone. We all think that pandas are cute and chubby. Fact about China and the panda is that every single panda living in this whole world belongs to China. So if you see a panda in your country, it means that your panda was led by China. It actually doesn't belong to your country, it belongs to China. And in China, pandas can be found in Chengdu, Sichuan's capital city. And another fact about pandas are that pandas eat all day long. They take about 10 to 16 hours a day eating. Such a heaven, right? And despite belonging to the bear family, pandas, they actually don't hibernate. Chinese people are the biggest travel spenders in the world. So they spend around 260 billion US dollars every year, which is twice the spending of American travelers. And number 18, it's a more related to the history and the medicine. So Asian Chinese medicine actually discovered blood 2000 years before European scientist William Harvey announced it in 1628. So number 19 will be about your favorite dessert, which is ice cream. So ice cream was discovered in China some 4,000 years ago. So at that time, people will combine milk, rice mixture, and snow to create this yummy dessert. So number 20 guys, Chinese people actually avoid using number 4. In China, you say number 4, si. And also they say that as si. So you can see they're actually pronounced really closely. So they associate number four with that. So I, I can see it everywhere. So when I go to visit my friends, their elevator usually never has number four. So it's like one, two, three, and five. I believe many soccer fans are watching this video. So where do you think football was invented in Europe? No, actually, the first recorded information about the sport was 2,200 years ago in China. So ancient Chinese people created world's first soccer ball made of leather. So the ball was filled with feathers and hair, and the sport was originally called Chu Chu, which means kicking the ball. China builds a new skyscraper every five days. So there is no country in the world that is growing as fast as China. So in one year, China built at least 73 new skyscrapers. That's amazing and mind-blowing. And number 23 is about food, guys. Because I'm a lover of food and I believe many of you want to come to China to taste their food, local cuisine. So the fact is that if you come to China, you will never eat the same food twice in China. Because every region in China has their own dishes, distinct flavors and cuisines. And Chinese food is served almost always fresh. So it's a food heaven, I would say. We all know that many other Asian countries, they use chopsticks to eat, right? But do you think chopsticks were originally created for eating? Actually, no. Chopsticks were originally used for cooking and stirring fire but not for eating. And number 25 is also about food. So ketchup is known to be American. However, ketchup comes from the Hokkien Chinese word ketchup, the name of a sauce derived from fermented fish. So it is believed that traders 
brought this fish sauce from Vietnam to southeastern China. So I think every girl's dream is to wear a really beautiful white dress and have an amazing wedding, right? But however, in China, brides actually wear red dresses instead of white because red is considered to be a lucky color in China. The Terracotta Army of Xi'an in China took 37 years to build. So it consists of 8,000 clay soldiers that are built to guard the emperor's tomb. Have you ever watched the movie called Avatar? It's one of my most favorite movies. If you know Avatar, do you remember the floating mountains in the movie? Yes, these mountains are located in China's Hunan province at Zhangjiajie National Forest Park. Fanjingshan Mountain is one of China's best kept secrets. So Fanjingshan is located in Guizhou province in South China. So when you climb to the top of the mountain, the view is spectacular. We have been there and we actually think that it's more impressive than the Great Wall of China. So number 30 guys, the last one. China is home to world universities. So according to the Times Higher Education World University Rankings, seven Chinese universities was included in the top 200 universities in the whole world. So these universities are Tsinghua University, Peking University, Fudan University, University of Science and Technology of China, Zhejiang University, Shanghai Jiao Tong University, and Nanjing University. So guys, if you want to apply to these top universities of China and other top universities I didn't discuss yet, then please click on the description below where is the link of apply.china-admissions.com where you can search for your desired programs and universities in China that you can apply and pursue your dream.